をご利用くださいまして誠にありがとうございました。So in my YouTube infancy, I made a video about night bus in Japan, and it received a lot of positive responses, and is in fact one of my best or、uh, the best performing video on my channel, surprisingly. And I remember it was a pretty humid, rainy night, and it took dozens of takes to get something that I could work with. And I still take the night bus in Japan, especially to cities that don't have airports. And this is exactly what we're going to do tonight. Tonight, we're off to the wonderful city of Kyoto using the Willer Express Reborn bus. And this bus,、uh, the seats are kind of like pods, so it's a little bit of a step up from、uh, the, the first bus video that I did. So I'm excited to give these pod seats thing a try.、Uh, we're going to pick up the bus from Tokyo Station, so let's go ahead and jump over to the station. The next station is Tokyo JK26. The doors on the right、side will open. So, we're going to pick up the bus at Kaji Bashi Station, which is a few blocks south of Tokyo Station. The thing is, Tokyo Station itself is just a few blocks. So, I gave myself about 45 minutes to get to the station and get all sorted out. So, that should be enough time if you're planning on heading to catch a bus at this station. So, Kaji Bashi Station, bus terminal. Here we go. So, at the bus station, I guess in today's day and age, they make you wait outside until 20 minutes before your bus leaves. I was here a couple years ago, or whenever I take buses from this station, usually in regular times, the station is usually packed at nighttime. And,、uh, I always remember your bus number because there's always multiple buses going to the same destination. So we're going to Kyoto tonight, and there'll be multiple buses going there, some from the same company. So always make sure you know your bus number. So today we're on W151. So that's the ticket to get on the right bus. And I think we're just about 20 minutes. We're going to jump through the other side to wait on that side for a little bit. This particular station is not very large. There's a small waiting area, and that's about it. Anyway, when it's time to board, there'll be an announcement to tell you which stand to head for. Our bus is leaving at 9 40 from stand number 10. The reborn bus is fitted with three pods per row in a 2 1 configuration. The aisle is slightly narrow to accommodate the pods. We're in row four tonight, and after a handful of passengers boarded, we're on our way. Tokyo to Kyoto is roughly 450 kilometers, and it'll take about seven and a half hours to complete the trip. The bus doesn't have a washroom on board, so we'll take breaks every so often. These pods are actually pretty comfortable. The blanket and eye cover are waiting for you when you board. And here's the control for the recline function. The opposite side has a well placed cup holder. With three pods per row, they're fairly spacious. A large table is provided, and leg space is generous. However, once the seat is reclined, it takes away any space that one may use for a bag. The overhead rack can accommodate a personal bag, but anything larger than that is best stowed in the trunk below. And above is the reading light and air control. I find they keep the AC cranked pretty good on these night buses, so that blanket comes in handy, and I'd recommend having another warm article nearby. The seat reclines to a comfortable 155 degrees, or 31 over 36 pi radians for you mathematicians. Not exactly lie flat, but did the trick for the trip. Once reclined, the high walls of the pod provide the privacy and coziness one is after. And everything looks a okay.
there's a small ring light close by and oh yeah don't forget to turn off that main light before you recline it's a bit of a stretch to turn it off afterwards and now it's time to go to sleep just kidding no sleep yet just on the edge of the prefecture uh, we stopped at the first rest stop so I took a few moments to jump outside All right, so we're just at one of the first rest stop uh, areas off the highway. So we stopped here for about 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. Uh, it's a good place to get a drink, uh, use the washroom. There's no washroom on this bus um, if you want something to eat. Um, the rest stops in Japan are actually pretty nice. So uh, they're usually full service with everything you have. Anyways, uh, I'm all done here, so I'm just going to jump off the bus and Hopefully get some sleep. Uh, seat's fantastic. So uh, I'm gonna get some sleep and wake up in Kyoto. As we depart the rest stop, I remind you that you can find me on Twitter while I'm jumping on buses, trains, planes, and really any cool mode of transportation. Each seat has a power outlet, and if sleeping's not your thing or your jet lag, Wi Fi is provided to keep you occupied. The bus also has an onboard streaming service. It's the first time I experienced this Wheeler Theatre product. I believe it's a new addition to their bus service. Download the Wheeler Theatre app to access it. It has a nice selection of movies and shows. No new releases or anything like that, but a selection of Japanese, British, and American films. I woke up as we were nearing Kyoto Station. Being summer, the sun rose quite early. It was about 5.30 when we arrived. Overall, the pods are a great option, and the price was 5,500 yen, no more than what normal seats would cost. Would recommend though to bring earplugs or noise cancelling headphones if you find bus noises inhibit your sleep. A water bottle and quiet snacks may also be a good idea. But yeah, it's a great way to reach further cities, cities without airports, on a budget, and to get a head start on your day. After stopping at Kyoto Station, this bus will continue to Osaka. So that's a night bus experience, and overall, it's a pretty good. Uh, trip. I got a couple hours of sleep and watched watched a movie. So overall, not too bad. And we get to Kyoto nice and early at like 5:30 in the morning. The first Shinkan didn't come on till 6:14. So things are just starting to open up over here. So once you get off the bus, undoubtedly you're gonna want to freshen up a little bit. So what I suggest you do is, if it's a big station like Kyoto, Osaka, Tokyo, usually the washrooms in the in the station are. Are good enough but sometimes they can be hit or miss and I would recommend using uh, going to the closest mall usually there's one kicking around the station and usually there those are a lot better than some of the stations uh, number two with your baggage because uh, it is pretty early in the morning you can either bring it with you um, there are if you're staying in the city uh, there are coin lockers at the stations usually they start at about 400 yen a day and they, they go from there um, or if you're or if you're able to you can drop it off your hotel or a hostel or something like that and then pick it up at, at check-in time. Anyways, I think I'll leave it there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around next time.